three maps in a row. It's going to be Asuras Dark. He is the blue Zerg on the top right of Cloud Kingdom. And down in the bottom left, we have the winner of the last three maps. It is Caliber Light. Will he be able to take one more for Light and win the match and move them into the round of eight? We'll have to find out here on Cloud Kingdom. But before we talk about anything Ooh. else, I just totally forgot about it while we were still on camera. But uh, Guild Wars 2 is a game that many of you may have heard of. We don't carry it as a title here at IGN Pro League, so I'm not obliged to talk about it. I'm actually just doing this out of my own interest. Uh, if you're yes. playing Guild Wars 2, the pre-orders actually begin playing tonight. And if you're thinking about what server you want to join, I'll just let you know that some of the IGN Pro League folks and a bunch of other StarCraft 2 players and League of Legends players, uh, anyone basically who's mentioned Guild Wars 2 at all in the last few months, I've been yelling at them to join Yaks Bend server. Mm -hmm. That's yak, as in the animal. Y a k yak, <laughs> yaks bend like a river or or something else that bends. Is that is that out tonight? You said so tonight. If you pre-ordered the game, it comes out at midnight Pacific, so 3 a.m. Eastern. You can start playing uh, at that time. And and you know myself and Frank Fields here, Miri, uh, we're going to be playing, and you know just a whole bunch of other uh, people on Twitter and uh, StarCraft Two teams, League of Legends teams, anyone basically that's mentioned it to me at all is going to be playing on Yaks Bend. So if you want to come play with us, that's the server to join. <laughs> Yaks Bend. Yaks Bend. Um, Caliber. Hey man, he's uh, he's early pulling again, and his opponent decided to go for a hatch first, and we've seen this result in disaster a lot of times. It is a uh, we're going to see how many lings Caliber decides to produce here, but he has enough for quite a few. Does he have to be larvae available? No, but the first four are going to start right away, and he'll have two more in just a second afterwards. All right, so Caliber going with the pool first, Dark going with the hatchery first. We'll see if that's going to make much of a difference. The only thing I can really think of is if Caliber gets up to a Baneling Nest before uh, Dark. Those Baneling Wars, those early ones, are going to be very, very dramatic and give Caliber a slight edge. Of course, most of those oh Baneling God. Wars. Oh, my goodness, he's pulling a lot of drones. Do you think oh he's going to do God. Spinecrawler yeah, morphing, of course? absolutely. But not all five of them. <laughs> no, but he'll have enough to, to tank a little bit of damage and put down two or three of them. So. Okay, so the Spinecrawler rush is on the way against Dark. The hatchery was actually canceled, so the Overlords did do uh, good enough spotting. And the first spine crawler actually in there for Caliber is going to get denied by these three drones. Once the links show up, though, that's going to be a lot more difficult to try to do. The spawning pool is not quite finished for Dark yet, but it will be along in just a moment, right when those links arrive. So we can start cranking out Zerglings right now. Six links on the way. The drones, of course, going to go to the farthest edge to start their spine crawlers. Three spine crawlers in total being morphed, and all these drones really aren't kind of helpless until the lings arrive. There is one spine crawler in the mineral line, and it's going to get focused down by Caliber. Now that the lings are just about to pop out, it's going to be up to Caliber, Caliber to defend his own spine crawlers in enemy territory. All right. Well, this is a, it was a really good time for Dark to pull all of his units off the <laughs> line there just then. So he was able to mitigate some of the damage, but I don't know if he's going to be able to go through these spine crawlers. They're getting so close to complete. The lings are still up for Caliber. He's stringing a couple more across the map as well. This is just a oh, mass wow. of things getting destroyed and now two of the spine crawlers did finish two two structures did finish but all those lings and drones of caliber were killed off uh, now that one spine crawler is slightly out of range of the hatchery he's going to move it forward and then piggyback off of it yes once the other one gets rooted so now these both should be in range of the hatchery we'll see for sure once that thing gets rooted but uh, are any more lings on the way i don't see any on the map there's no. none in production so it's going to be up to these spine crawlers see how much damage they can actually do. Uh, obviously, any lings that come to try and pick off the spine crawler are going to get killed off as long as Caliber keeps an eye on things. Well, it's pretty easy in workers, and of course, uh, this is working out all right for Caliber. Oh, trying jab, to jab. micro those back there a little bit so we can get a spine crawler in position. Now and the queen's queen. out as well, so it looks like he will be able to eventually deal with all wow. these. Pulling the drones off line maybe a little bit too much because, yeah, the economic damage it's done is well worth it as these uh, spine crawlers go down. Man, the blood splatter on a Zergling getting killed by a spine crawler is pretty dramatic. They actually just like burst open. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I, I love how death animations are just so varied in this game. They die a hundred different ways. Some of the funniest deaths are actually Marines getting killed by like a siege tank yeah. and their head just blows off and <laughs> flies off the screen. That's always really amusing and catches you off guard sometimes. But uh, I, I like the care that Blizzard puts into all their death animations. I'm really looking forward to new death animations in Heart of the Swarm I for all the new all units. Are. For even maybe some new ones for the old units as well. Oh, yeah, because so. they'll die in new ways, right? That's right. <laughs> I really, uh. I'm really curious about the, uh, the Viper uh, tongue snag abduction 
that's going to happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The animation as it is in the build that we've played it literally just picks up off the ground and like warps <laughs> over to where the where the Viper is. If they make that look really cool and like have them like flail around and stuff, that's going to be just awesome to see. Well, there's nothing the spine crawler can do quite yet. Um, the Queen eventually will be able to push these units off, though, but that hatchery is still a little bit uh, before it's actually going to be complete. Dark is re-expanding as well. Both players' hatcheries almost done at the exact same time. Josh is throwing paper clips in the <laughs> studio. Yeah, I always I always bring a, a stress ball in here, and there happen to be some paper clips here today, so I'm just destroying them. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's for the best. Yeah, idle hands. I just I can't. Uh, I got to do something. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm not sure what's happening here. We got this roach warren coming up actually for dark, so that explains things a little bit better. No baneling nest yet for either player. I don't believe. Uh, so no, not that I've seen. Yep, going going straight to roaches, skipping that phase after the crazy spine crawler rush that we just saw. Right. Straight into roaches. Caliber just uh, doesn't Space like arc. playing standard games, does he? Uh, cannon rush, early pool, early pool. <laughs> mm. I don't think we've seen a standard game at all today. Uh, oh, I guess he did an early pool against uh, Sendo, but... Yeah, yeah. So Hyun actually did the mass nukes, though, and like yes. <laughs> just everything has been crazy so far. Marilla versus Knight, uh, the very first game, was probably the most standard of all, all the uh, games that we've seen so far. Yes. All right, well, uh, we'll see what Dark can pull off here. As uh, this is a fair number of links getting established for Light and uh, for uh, Caliburn. As we can see, none of the Roaches have hit the field quite yet. So this is 28 links to uh, just a handful. There are a couple of Queens here as well. Looks like a third is out and about, but not coming down to aid in the defense. Spinecrawler goes down, but most of the links did get destroyed for Caliburn. Yeah, Dark is going to have to hang on long enough for these roaches to pop out. Finally, they are starting to emerge. The queens are uh, going to come down as well with that spine crawler, but there's a large number of links. They are going to go for those high-value targets, those queens, instead of going into the main mineral line, and they, it looks like they are actually going to be able to kill both of them. This number of links actually doing wonders for Caliber. Even though he was down in supply when the roaches started to pop out, he has now surged ahead. Oh, boy. All right, well, the last of the roaches goes down. Just one queen holding back things at the moment, and this is getting really, really bad now for Dark. He's got four more roaches popping up, but in the meantime, looks like he is going to lose even more. Another queen is going to fall. That's so many killed this game. This Zergling train is not slowing down. There's no brakes on the Zergling train. He's going to kill this hatchery, or at least try, before these roaches get into position. Yes, he's going to kill the hatchery. Bye -bye. Of course he's going to kill the hatchery, and something like 12 links just popped out for Dark to try and repel that, but it's a little bit too late. And they're slow links, it appears. Yep. So that's uh, it's going to be quite a while for them to be able to chase anything down. Ooh, so. there's Bane links. So Caliber snuck up a nest at some point. And uh, he's going to be using them to soften up these roaches while the rest of the speedlings do the rest of the dirty work. Yeah, the speedlings getting out there and trying to pick off a couple of units from Dark. Initially, they do manage to get one or two Zerglings there before pulling back. And uh, the Banelings are all morphed in. I think he just wanted to slow them down so the Banelings had enough time to get fully morphed. And now uh, he's trying to pen them in position with those Normalings so that he can get in with the Banelings and kill everything in the world. <laughs> and everything in the world has been killed successfully. And that is all the Roaches. Oh, that's all the everything because Dark GG's <laughs> and Caliber wins four games straight for Light, taking the match for that.